guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be showing how to make this cutie, which I just recorded it and I just did everything. Um, so that has already been recorded. This is what I made in the tutorial. So if you like what you see right now, make sure to keep watching. Um, and then now I will go on to the past and show you guys what you need. All right, so now on to the things that you'll be needing. So the things you'll be needing today is just your normal crochet hook. You can also use a crochet hook, um, a original crochet hook for wool as well. That will work the same. Um, you will also be needing a C clip um, or S clip, just a stitch marker to mark off your rows. You can find these in bands, packets of bands. You usually can find the S clips quite easily. I have quite a few of them, and that's just from a long time of collecting. But yes, you'll be needing a C clip, and maybe even yes, yeah, so you'll be needing a C clip, S clip, or a stitch marker. You will also be needing your black bands. So this is for the nose and for the eyes, if you're using it for the eyes, I'll be using safety eyes today. But if you're using um, bands for the eyes or beads for the eyes, I will be placing bands where the eyes would go. So if you're using bands, that would work for you. But if you would like to place beads, you will place beads or I place bands. Okay? So we need your black bands. You will also be needing, if you're using safety eyes, um, I have these today, as I show in every single one of my tutorials, from millimeters, six millimeter to twelve millimeter. I haven't used any of the twelve millimeter yet because they're quite large, but that is my safety eyes. So you'll be needing safety eyes, and of course the backings to go with it as well. You will of course be needing your main color of bands. I'm not quite sure of the band count yet. Um, if I do figure that out, check the description. More than likely, be one in there. Um, and yeah, so I always find a way to use scissors, so I'm just going to put it in the things you've been needing. So scissors, um, and you'll also be needing stuffing. So you can use tissue, um, really anything to stuff it. You can use cotton balls, fiber fill, um, paper bag or a plastic bag, toilet paper, don't know if I said tissues yet. Um, but yeah, you can use really anything to stuff it with, um, and that should be everything that you'll be needing today. So not too many things, just your bands, a C-clip or stitch marker, a couple black bands for the nose and for the eyes, if you're using it for the eyes. If you're using safety eyes, of course, safety eyes, your crochet hook, and I'm just going to add these in case I use them throughout the tutorial. Alright, so that's everything that we're needing, and now we can get on to the tutorial. Alright, so now we can do the tutorial. There have been quite a few requests on patterns, um, which I will now show you all of the patterns um, that I have actually wrote down. So you guys can take a screenshot of that. I can't even see them all. So I haven't wrote down for the ears yet, and I have not wrote down for... The, um, yeah, it's only really the ears that I haven't written down here, but I will show you how to make that in the tutorial. And I do not state how to attach or anything, but that's because this is a tutorial. I'm not going to list the attachment because, again, this is a tutorial. So, hopefully you took a screenshot of that. Um, and now we're going to begin on the legs. You have to make four of these in total. You can also add fur if you would like. You can have a fully furry dog, but today I'll only be making the head furry, which that sounds strange, but hopefully it comes out cute because I will not have enough bands to do wrap bands for all of it. Um, so we'll just be wrapping the band around once and then adding that on, which I will show you how to do that in the head, but I will not be showing you how to do it in the leg today. I will show you how, but I will not be doing it. Okay, so we're going to start off with our brown bands or whatever color you're using for the main body color. And we're just going to start. So it says here, make four in total, add fur in all rows, which I am deciding not to do now because I do not have enough bands. It will just be completely furry if you put in fur. I will put in some images at the start of what it would look like furry and what it would look like with just fur on the head and what mine turned out to be. Okay, so we're going to start off with a magic ring of six and excuse the background noises, I'm not going to shut my door because it's a bit too stuffy in here. Okay, so we're going to wrap our band around th twice, sorry, th twice to make three loops. I usually can describe that way better. Sorry about that. 
So wrap your band around twice to create three loops on your hook. And now we're going to pull a band through the three loops that are on your hook. Like so. And now we're going to reclaim that back onto our hook. And you're going to pull one through the other. Just like so. Now we're going to hold this band on our hook and go back into those three loops. If you don't understand what I'm doing right now, I do a full explanation in my basics on Limmy Groomy tutorial, and that is in the description. So go check that out if you don't know how to do Limmy Groomy or if you want to get started. Definitely will help you. So now we're going to hold this band on the hook and we're going to pull this three loops onto a new band. Reclaim, you should still have that band from before. Pull the first band through the second and third. Okay, so now we have two loops, because one is on your hook, so we count that as one. Now go back into the three loops, and we now need to do four more. Reclaim, pull through, that's three. Make sure you get all the loops. That's four. Sorry about my squeaky table, it's quite annoying. And six. You can kind of pull it around the side so it doesn't, you know, have a big gap. Okay, so now the sides, you can count the sides, make sure we have six, six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and the last one on the hook. That makes six. Now you can grab your stitch marker. I don't have one out at the moment. Sorry about that. Okay. Grab your C-clip. It has a piece of hair on it. Oh, great. And now put that to the back of your band so that it's out of your way. Now we're going to go into the first chain. These are chains that we just counted. We're going to go into those two loops right here. And we're now doing single crochet increase. Again, this is where you would start putting fur. Now if you were doing fur, what you would do is you do this throughout all rounds except for the magic ring but if you were doing fur I'm not going to be doing it because I don't have enough bands it'll probably take a band count of two packs of 600 bands um, it would take a lot with wrap bands so just letting you know that um, so if you decide to do this make sure you have enough bands otherwise you'll be half fairy half not so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap our band around once on our hook so we have basically five bands as you can see one two three four five loops now we have that wrap band that looks like a figure eight and we have those two stitches here. What we're going to do is we're going to take a band through the only four loops at the start. So we're going to take it through these two loops and these two loops. So through the two loops first and through the other two loops. Okay, and we're going to keep this one on our hook, reclaim, pull through one another. You would do that throughout every single thing that I do, including increases. So with increases, you would do two in the same stitch and you would do fur in both of those stitches. With the decrease, you do it in the decrease as well. Every single stitch, if you're doing it fully furry, okay? Today, I will not be doing a furry leg. I will only be doing a furry face. Okay? So if you're not doing fur, just follow along. You would add fur to every row. It would definitely take a lot more time. So right now we're doing single crochet increase. To do an increase, we do two single crochets in the same chain. So because we just did one in that same chain, we're going to go back into that exact same chain that we just went through, and we're going to do another single crochet. So we do, we have two stitches in the same chain. Now we have a single crochet, so we're not going to do two, we're just going to do one in the one chain. Now moving on to the next chain, and we're going to do two in the same chain. Two single crochets in the same chain. Back in the same chain. Next chain over, we're doing a single and then we're going to end in an increase. Sorry if the lighting isn't very good, it's quite late at night. Um, and I'm about to go to bed, so just thought I'd record the clip for the legs and I'll do the rest tomorrow. Okay. Now we're going to do another round of just single crochet increase. So we're going to go into the first stitch. This is just to increase it a bit more. So we're doing a single crochet, 
and the next stitch is a increase so it's two single crochets in the same chain single crochet This is an increase, single crochet. If you haven't realized, um, if you haven't made my unicorn, you will not have known this, but this is the exact same foot that I did for the smaller version of the unicorn. So I did the smaller legs, so there was a big leg and a small leg. This is the smaller leg, and we're going to be doing that four times. So hopefully it turns out cute. This is a increase. And it's basically the same head and body, um, but I'll just be adding fur and making different ears. Because I have not had time to make a new design, um, and I think this will turn out pretty cute anyways. So, Sorry, I keep losing track of what I'm doing. This is an increase, and we're going to finish in a single. Okay, now we have something that looks like this. This is where we would usually change in the unicorn, but because this is a dog, they don't really have hooves. So we're just doing one single um, color. So now what we are doing is we're doing single crochet decrease. So to do a single uh, decrease, we will, I'll show you that in a second, but first we're gonna start off with a single crochet. So a single crochet is just what we've been doing lately. And now to do a decrease. So this type of decrease is a front stitch and back stitch. So um, there's other di different types of decreases, but this is my go-to decrease, um, which that sounds weird, but. <laughs> so what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna take the front stitch. So there's two loops here. We only wanna take the front stitch of this first loop, okay? And the next um, chain over, we have a back stitch and a front stitch. We're gonna take the back stitch of that one. All right, so I'll show you that one more time. We're doing the front stitch of the next chain over and the next chain over from that one we're doing the back stitch uh, back loop now we're going to pull a band through those two loops that should be on your hook again if you're doing fur you would have added fur in that round i showed you how and now we're doing a single crochet don't know why there's blue on there these are cheap bands and then a decrease front stitch of the first chain back stitch of the second chain Single crochet, front stitch of the first stitch, back stitch of the first chain. I mean, second chain. Ugh. That's not confusing at all. Single crochet, front stitch of the first chain, back stitch of the second chain. And we end in a single. Okay. And you have like a bottom kind of part of the foot. Reclaim your C clip to where you've started. And now here's the easy part. So we're just doing single crochet now, single crochet rounds from here. Um, if you wanted to have paws and then um, fur, what you could do is start the fur from here. So this is the leg portion, this is the foot, and now we're doing the leg portion. You can kind of mold it if you'd like to fit a dog so like they have you know larger feet so you can kind of shape that if you'd like um, but you can do that at the end here if you find it easier you can start adding stuffing if you want this to be more um, stuff but these are pretty strong bands so if your bands are more flexy and not strong I'd suggest adding some fiber fill but not too much otherwise it'll come out in the stitches all right so to do a single crochet round, if you have no idea what I mean by a single crochet round, I will do run one round with you, and then you will do four more rounds off. Uh, I will do four more rounds off. Four little bit. <laughs> I will do four more um, rounds off camera while you do four more rounds while you pause it. Okay, so what we're doing is we're just taking a single band through a single chain. Okay, and that's throughout every single chain. Again, my table is very annoying and I'm sorry about that. Nothing much I could do about that. Okay, we're just adding one single crochet to each chain as we have been. And we're doing that throughout every single row. We need to do five rows in total. 
So this will be our first row. And then I will do four more off camera while you pause and do four more. And then that will be the legs. And I will show you how to tie off. And again, you'll have to make four of these. But I will remind you after I finish this. That blue in the bands is really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> There's really nothing I can do about that, except it should have excluded them, but that's all right. All right, so I've done my first round, and that is what you'll be doing for four more rounds. So repeat what I just did, but you can do that for four more rounds. Also, um, ignore my gross nails. Um, I just tried to remove the dirt, but it didn't work. I was cleaning out gutters today. So yeah, don't mind that. Um, but as it says here, we're going to do five rounds in total, and we just did one, so do four more. Um, and pause the video here, do four more, and then I will show you how to tie off, and then you'll have to make three more legs. Alright, so I'll do that off camera now, and I'll be right back with you. So, I've now finished my five rows of just single crochet. Um, so, you should now have five rows. Um, so, now I'm going to show you how to tie it off, but firstly, um, I've realised that these have, um, are a little bit short. So, I've made my two front ones. Um, it's up to you if you want to do this, but, um... I have decided that I am going to do one round more of single crochet for the behind legs. So I'd suggest doing that because um, they're not quite long enough to be um, back legs because you got to bring them from the front. Sorry, from the back to the front. So I'm going to add one more row of single crochet. These are my front legs. Um, I'm now going to show you how to tie it off like that. Um, and then I'll do two more legs. The exact same thing, but I'll just do six rounds of single crochet instead. It's up to you, you can do five rounds, it'll still work. Just, you know, just a thought. Okay, so now you can take off your C-clip. And now we need to tie this off. So to tie this off, you would have finished in a single crochet. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to lift the band that's on it, hold it, and then put your hook back through it. Now unslip knot that band, and now you can go back into that, <clears throat> sorry my voice just started cracking, we can go back into that stitch and pull the band through and pull the band through the other stitch as well, alright, and then we can tie that off, nice and tight. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to see where our front is, so, um, you can kind of make your front anywhere, honestly, um, but I've made my front like here. But it's just going to have to be wherever these knots go. Okay. So like. Um, so, okay. So now what we're going to do. Is we're going to. So you can see that first stitch here. I'm going to zoom in for you. So you can see this first stitch here. And you can see the next stitch over. We're going to take the next stitch over. And the stitch that's directly next to it. Okay. So it should look like that. Grab a band and pull through all four loops. Reclaim and then pull through one another and slip it nice and tight. Now we can go to the next stitch over. So we just did those two, now we're going to the next stitch over. Make sure you only got the stitch, not everything else. And the next stitch over from that one, like that. Pull through, and I'm not adding stuffing, you can definitely add stuffing if you'd like. Um, because my bands are quite secure, and I just don't think they really need stuffing. Okay, and the last two stitches should be on the end, so you can just kind of put your hook through the end, and there should be two stitches. Um, and now there are four on my hook, so pull another band through that, reclaim, and pull nice and tight. Alright, now that's how you tie something off. Should look something like this. I've now got my two legs done for the front. Um, and what you can do to shape it is push it in. This is where it comes handy with not filling it with stuffing. That is if your bands will actually do this. Some bands don't. Um, so I started shaping it somewhere else, so that's okay. Now we can shape it where it's meant to be. And you can just kind of push it in and then flatten it on the bottom and it should make a little foot curve. So now they both have that. Um, it might, you know, undo and go back to normal, but I just think that looks super cute if it was standing like that. So that is now the front legs. I'm going to make two more, the exact same pattern, exact same thing that we just did, but I'm going to do six rounds of single crochet and then tie it off. Okay, so I'm going to do that now off camera. 
and I'll be right back with you. Alright, so I have completed my four legs, two from the front and two from the back. Again, it was optional if you wanted to do a, another single crochet round for the back legs, so that is what it would look like. I think it would look a bit cuter, so if you haven't done that already, I'd definitely suggest doing that. Excuse the wind, it's very windy outside today. Okay, so we have our four legs, now we can put them to the side, and we're now going to do the head. Alright, so to do the head, uh, you'll be needing your stitch marker and your hook and your bands. As you can see, I am running out of bands, um, and I still have a head, body, and ears to do. So I'm definitely going to have to use my other brown, which this is a completely different brown, but they're close enough, I guess. So I'm just going to hope that works. Okay, so this is the head, so I'm going to be adding fur in this. So to do that, um, we're not going to do that in the first, um, in the magic ring, because this is where we add the nose. Okay, so we're going to take our brown bands and we're going to do a magic ring of six stitches. This is pretty easy and it's not working for me. Sorry about that. Okay, go back into the three loops. And we need to pull through five more. So we should have six in total. One, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Count the outside, one, two, three, four, five, and the one you hook counts as one, so we have six stitches. You can just move it around a bit, and now you should have a magic ring. Now, we're going to put our C-clip on the other side of this band, so it's out of your way, and now we can start. So now we're going to start off with a increase all, but we're going to start adding fur. So we're doing increases in every single stitch, um, and we're just going to get started. So we're going to start off by wrapping our band around once, as I showed you how to do that with the legs. And we're going to, so we're doing a figure eight with our band, like this. Doesn't look like a figure eight. <laughs> Make sure it's a good band when you do fur. There you go. So it looks like a figure eight. Now we can push that down slightly, take a band, pull it through the figure eight, and through your two bands. Okay? And if it does that, do not let it do that. Okay, and then you can pull through. And that is a piece of your fur. Okay, now because we're doing increases, we need to go back into that same stitch and do another one. So add your fur, and then pull through. Okay. And now we're doing an increase in the next stitch, so you're going to have a lot of fur this round. But you put fur in every single round except for the magic ring because that is where you put the nose. Sorry about the background noises, that's my siblings. And if it does that, you can just slightly pull the other side of it and so that they're even. Okay. Or if you don't want them even, it's also fine. Make sure you have two stitches in there because we need to have um, 12 stitches at the end of this. So this definitely takes, you know, a bit of time to do. So if you're going to do fur around the whole thing, it'll probably take quite a long, a long time. That's why I'm only doing it for the top. My siblings are yelling at the top of their lungs, and I'm sorry about that. Okay, we're doing another increase. Make sure you always do your wrap band, and then... It sometimes can be a little bit tedious to pull through but you will get better at it as we go along. It may look a little strange at the start, I promise it will fix. Go back in. Okay, the so struggle is real. So that's another increase, now we're doing two more increases. That's 
two and we're now doing the last one. And then we'll add the nose. Okay, so going into where the C-clip is now, and we're going to take another wrap band. Make sure you're not getting caught on with the other fur pieces, okay? Otherwise, they will be loomed in and it won't look as fluffy. That's one. And we're going to go back in. It's caught onto the C-clip. You can take the C-clip out if that's a little bit difficult. Just make sure you know where you're looming, of course. And now you can put a C-clip on your band, and that is what it looks like. Again, it will look a little strange, but it will fix as we get more furry. Okay, and with these little bands that are really tight in one area, just fix them up as we go along, otherwise you'll forget about them, and it'll look strange at the end. Okay, so that is the starting of our little dog, and now we're going to make the nose. Okay? So to do the nose, um, we're going to go to the next stitch over and we're just going to tie off our band for a second. You can use another colour. I'm not going to be using another colour because I don't have any bands next to me at the moment. So just doing a tight-ish slip knot. Make sure you can get that undone. Oh, it keeps coming undone. These bands are so slippery. Alright, so now we're going to take our black bands and we're going to get started. Again, another twisted band. Make sure you untwist those. can help to grab the other side of it and just keep fiddling with it until you like it. Um, it's definitely a very time consuming thing to do um, and this will more than likely be quite a long tutorial. So that is what it looks like and now we are going to grab our black bands, just grab a little pile out. Alright, so we've already tried applying the nose, um, and what you, I'm now going to retry, <laughs> so I just recorded me doing it, it was really confusing, um, and I confused myself. So what I did was I just slip knotted, um, one, one, two, three, four, five, and six bands together, so I slip, them, slip knot them all together, and this is what we're going to be using for the nose. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start from the top, like this, start put our hook through the top, wherever you want the top to be, um, and we're going to take this band and pull it through, okay, about, say, half, like, lever band to spare at the top. Now we're going to go through the bottom, and we're going to take that through. Alright, so now we have that going on. Alright, so you can pull it halfway, something like that. Um, and now we are going to go through the band. Um, so we've got two bands next to it right here. We're going to go to the band, the sorry, holes next to it. We're going to go to this hole first. So we're going to go from back to front. So we're going to go from back and then we're going to go to the from front to back, sorry. And now we're going to take this and we're going to pull this through. Doesn't really matter what loop you pull through, it's all going to be looped in the end. So now we have this at the bottom and now we're going to loop that to the top. All right, so we're going to loop that back into this stitch here. So this stitch here, where we've already put a band through, we're going to go from back to front. So make sure you have this band in your hand so it doesn't come out. Go back into that loop, okay? Grab this band and pull through. So now we have something that looks like that. Okay? Now what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we can do the same thing on the other side. So right here. So we're going to go through um, front to back right here and we're just going to choose which one we use. I'm going to choose this one. Got to all be wrapped in the end anyways. So now we've got this coming out of here. Okay? And now we are also pulling this into this stitch. So make sure you have everything that you've pulled through here out of the way so that you can come from front to back and pull this through. I am sorry if this is confusing. There's no other way I can explain it. Um, but that is how you do the nose. 
and then we're going to wrap through a couple more times so then we can close up those gaps. And I hope that eventually just looks really cute, let's hope. Because <laughs> um, I have not made the dog yet, but you would have seen it in the first clip. Um, so now I'm going to go through like these stitches here. So we've got a stitch here. And we're going to go in the middle of that stitch. It can be kind of difficult to do. There's a stitch here, getting on the middle of it. Okay, so in the middle of it, and we're gonna go... No, we're not going into there. So we're basically just pulling through heaps. And as you can see, I've screwed up all the hair, but I can fix that later. Um, and we're gonna keep going through. So you can also if, go from like here to here. You can just make whatever nose you'd like, but we're basically just wrapping the bands around until you're happy. So I'm gonna finish this up off camera, otherwise it'll take too long, <laughs> and I'll be right back. All right, so I got my nose nicely placed, as I liked it. Um, I like how this looks now. Um, it looks like a round thing. I went through a couple of the stitches that are in the gaps, and I went through and split them in half, and then went through and then pulled it through the back. Again, it takes a lot of time to do because <laughs> it's very tedious, um, but now we're going to tie this off. So you probably don't even need to tie it off. Um, you can see lots of the knots. You can try to avoid that, but I don't really mind the knots. Okay, so again, and then we'll pull out all of the fur again so we can make it nice and neat. But what I'm going to do is to tie it off, we're going to go through some of these stitches. Okay. And then we're going to take the black bands, basically just through those stitches. And honestly, it's not the most, you know, secure tie-off, but um, it will stop the bands from, you know, slipping out. But there's no need to tie anything off here because they have been wrapped around many times and they shouldn't come undone. But if you're scared of it coming undone, you can figure out a way to tie that off. You can also just pull it through a couple of these. And that should hopefully do the job. Um, now from the front, you can pull it away and you can pull it to the gaps, but I like how that looks. So that is my nose. All right, and I'm now going to pull out these hairs, make them nice and neat as they were before I started, you know, moving them all around. I definitely wouldn't recommend this type of bands for hair, but it's the only color I had for like that would recommend it, that would be a dog unless I did white. But I just don't have enough white because I need to do a polar bear and I also want to make another unicorn, so not that I'm going to have enough for both of them, but So we're just pulling the bands. I'm probably gonna have to upload this overnight. It'll be that long. The struggles of being a limit groomy artist. <laughs> okay, so now we're ready to begin on looming again. So that's the nose. Um, if you were using a nose that um, is, you know, safety eye kind of thing, you would put that in, of course, um, through the magic ring but you probably would do fur around here as well, so it would look like it's covering. Um, I didn't think of that, sorry. Um, you can also pull the hair to the front, which I actually like the look of, um, so that it looks like it's kind of hidden, and then the fur that we make in the next round should um, make that look a bit better. This is also just to get it out of your way. Um, of course, it doesn't look good right now, but it will turn out good in the end. I hope. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take this slip knot off that we did last time. My slip knot is way too tight. Luckily, I have this toothpick, and it makes it easy to undo slip knots. Alright. So, now what we're going to do is. 
Alright, I should have cleaned up before I started recording again. Alright. So now we did increase all, now we're going to do three rounds of just single crochet. But in those single crochet rounds, of course, you're going to be adding fur. So add your fur, and we're doing three rounds of single crochet. Oof. So that's one. And you'll just do that all the way around. Again, you should have 12 stitches by the end of this three rounds. So I'll do one, one on, or one or half, one round or a half of single crochet so you know what you're doing because this does take a while to do. Just take your time and you will get there. So there's no increases, we're just doing singles throughout the whole thing. Again, make sure you don't have any of the other stitches looped around your hook. Okay, I'm going to stop here. You want to do that all the way back around to make sure you have your fur nicely placed. Um, my fur doesn't look very good because <laughs> I'm using thick, um, shiny bands. Um, but hopefully it turns out good in the end. It looks okay at the moment. Alright, um, so I'm just going to do single crochet all the way back around. Again, 12 stitches. Um, and you should do three rounds in total. So I've done half a round, I'll do the other half, and then I'll do two more rounds. Okay, three rounds in total, and then be back with me. Okay, so I'm back and I would have put something in the corner here in the last clip. We're only doing two single crochet rounds. Um, I've decided to just do two because the muzzle is like smaller. Okay, so um, now that we've only done two single crochet rounds with our fur, and also I am definitely running out of bands, which I'm nervous. Um, I hope I will have enough just for the head portion. Um, but now we are doing single crochet increase um, and then single crochet single crochet increase so um, I just realized when we do the head we're gonna have to move the fur in order to make the head area so um, I'm not sure we're gonna do that but it's gonna get confusing <laughs> for me at least okay so now we're doing single crochet increase so we're gonna start off with our fur so single crochet and now we're doing a increase back in the same stitch probably was off camera then single crochet So time consuming. <laughs> Increase. I just want to pull a band through without doing fur. Ugh. <laughs> this is why I didn't do fur on the feet. I, my fingers would be very tight. Oof. Come on. Again, I'm sorry about the person who's lawning outside. Um, he just chose the best time to loan, you know? Single crochet. Oh god. Ooh. Increase. So it looks pretty cute right now. Single crochet. I'm probably gonna have to get out my other bands. More than likely. Especially because we have to do four rounds of single crochet in the head and we only did two just then. So. This 
is an increase. So we're just doing single crochet increases around. I'm gonna finish this up off camera because it's taking forever. Uh, I've just got single crochet, another single crochet, and another increase. So another single increase and a single. I'll do that off camera quickly. All right, so now I have something that looks like this. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now we have a muzzle that looks super, super cute um, and we've done our single crochet increase round. Okay, and there is some hair. Sorry about that, okay. So now we're getting on to the head portion. So now we're doing single crochet increase. Okay, so our first stitch, we're doing a single crochet, sing, sorry, now we're doing single crochet, single crochet increase. So adding fur every row. Okay, gosh, this is so difficult, please go on. Um, another single crochet. I'm gonna pull this on first now. And now doing an increase. Um, and I'm gonna go off camera now and finish off those rows. Sorry, that row. Um, because this is very time consuming and I don't want this to go forever. So we're basically just doing single crochet, single crochet, and increase. Okay, and we're doing that all the way around until the end. All right, so we're just doing single crochet. So single crochet, single crochet, um, and then an increase. Okay, finish that round, and then I'll be right back to tell you what to do next. I'm sorry that I'm not doing the full round with you. I just don't want this to be more than two hours. All right, so I did the single crochet, single crochet increase round. Um, that definitely took me a while to do <laughs> with all the fur and stuff, um, but now you should look something like this, and we're now back at the start. So again, that was just a single crochet, single crochet round, and I would have said in the last clip, add eyes this round if you're using um, beads. Um, I just didn't show how because I completely forgot, and I'm sorry about that. But um, you just do it wherever you like, about there and there, okay? Okay, so now we are going to move on to our four rounds of just single crochet all. Okay, so now I'm going to do four rounds of single crochet, and I am sorry, this is very time consuming, <laughs> but we will get there in the end and we just gotta keep going. And as you can see, my bands have now been refilled. I added my slightly off tan color to them as well. Hopefully I'll now have enough, which I'm pretty sure I will, um, because that's more than 1000 bands. So that should hopefully be enough. Um, and now we are going to just do a single crochet round of four rows, okay? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Yeah, so four rounds, and if I'm saying the wrong thing right now, I will also put something up here, okay? So four rounds of just single crochet, and I'll be right back. I will not be showing you how to do that, um, because I've already shown you how to do single crochet rounds, and if you don't know what a single crochet round at this point is, then check out my um, basics for looming. Again, it'll be in the description down below. Okay, so you're just doing a single crochet in each chain, four rows. So four rows, and be back, and I'll be right back. Right, so I've completed my four rounds of just single crochet with the fluff and I added in my eyes for safety eyes. I will show you how to do that now. I just added them a couple of rows up from wherever you want. So place them in that hole. Make sure that they are equal and I'm going to put the backings in them. Alright, so make sure you've done your four rounds of single crochet, of course. Um, uh, fur and all rows. And I can take our backings. I'm going to take the more... What the heck was that? Um, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the more easy ones to apply. I'm just gonna push this up on my hook. Take this, and because these are smaller eyes, um, I'd like the better look of the smaller eyes, and you can also have some fur to cover them up if you want, to make it look, look more, a bit more realistic. So before you put the eye backing in, just try to pull up some fur, if you can. Oh, that pulled out the eye. Lovely. Just make sure it was where you wanted it. Okay, yeah, no, I liked it how it was before. 
hook up in here? Okay, you can attach your hook, like you can attach it to the other side. Um, if this happens, just pull the other side of that fur piece so that it's out of your way. Okay, so I like the look of the small eyes because it's a bit more realistic. And you can use bigger eyes if you'd prefer. Now I'm going to put the backings on them. So you would just pop the backings in. I'm going to do one and a half clicks so that it's buried in the face a bit. I like how that looks. Again, it looks a little bit more realistic. That hook is really annoying me. Sorry, I'm just trying to find where I'm at in the back. It can be a little bit difficult sometimes, so clicking it once and clicking it once and a half. Okay, let the fur just kind of do its thing. And that is your eyeballs. Okay, so I did them pretty close. I like how they looked closer. Um, they look a little strange being so close. Okay, so that's for people who are using safety eyes. We will add the ears soon. Um, so this is what we're looking like, and I absolutely am in love with this. So I'm glad that this is turning out okay. Um, so we're going to stop here at the single crochet rounds, um, and we're going to make the ears. Sorry, no, we're not going to stop here. Sorry. We're going to do the some decreasing rounds, and then we'll have a hole to put the ears in as well. Which The ears will probably go about here, floppy ears. I hope they look cute. Okay, so we're just going to do a decreasing round. Um, so we're doing single crochet, single crochet, decrease. So just grab your bands. I don't know why I have my feet here. Oh yeah, I took an Instagram photo. Okay. So, we are just doing our wrap bands. Again, I won't do the full round with you because time. So, I'm just going to pull this on and we're doing single crochet, single crochet decrease. And because I haven't done a decrease yet, actually I have, but I'll just show you how to do another decrease. So, I will show you twice how to do this. So we're doing single crochet, so two single crochets, so the next chain is another single crochet. Remember to add your fur. And now we're doing a decrease. So front stitch of the first chain and back stitch of the second chain. I'll show you how to do that one more time. So single crochet. Oh, I did I didn't I just didn't add fur. That's okay. <laughs> Just make sure you add fur next time. So make sure you add fur. That's the first time I've done that. So we're doing a single crochet. Lovely. Just what I need right now. For you to undo completely. Great. <laughs> you just went, nope, I don't want to do this right now. Lovely. So we're just going to start that again. <laughs> so we've done our single crochet. And next is another single crochet. Then we're doing a decrease, front stitch of the first chain, and back stitch of the second chain. I then again forgot to put on the fur. So go back into the front chain and the back chain. So wrap around and then pull through everything. Yeah, so make sure to add fur, otherwise you have a little gap there. So now single crochet. Single crochet, and that is, and then we're doing a decrease, and then I'll do the rest of the row off camera. So front stitch of the next chain over, and the next chain over from that one, we're doing the back stitch. Wrap band around first, and then pull through. Okay. 
Okay, so it does look a little strange with the change of color, but there's nothing else I could really do. All right, so now we're gonna do that all the way around and I'll stop the thing here and go all the way around so that it doesn't take forever. Okay, so we're just doing single crochet, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, single crochet, decrease, all the way around until we get to the empty clip. Okay, I hope that's not confusing. So I completed that round of just single crochet, single crochet, decrease, and now we're just going to put this to the side. So what we're going to do to put this to the side is you can either put it on a holding hook, which actually I'm going to do. Um, so I'm just going to put it on a holding hook, you can put it on a pencil or anything you'd like, or you can just keep it with the C-clip on it, it should be pretty good. But I'm just holding it on my other crochet hook, which is a 3.5mm. So I'm just going to put that up to the side with the legs, and now we're going to make the ears. So as I would have just cut what I set off, um, so I just went off camera and made a ear so that I can show you how to make it. This is what it looks like. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to make that now, and this is what it's going to look like on the head. Pretty damn cute. <laughs> um, so you can make it longer if you want. I will show you how to do it. So I'm just going to put this to the side real quick. It's very heavy of bands, that's for sure. Okay, so um, we're not doing off this right now. I'm not going to take it off because it's glue tacked down. Okay, so to do the ear, we're going to do a magic ring of six stitches. So we've done plenty of magic rings right now, so you should know what a magic ring is by now. Okay, but this magic ring is slightly different. So what we're going to do is the first stitch has no hair in it, okay? We're going to go back into those three stitches, and this one we're going to wrap our band around twice, once, sorry, to create the figure eight like we have been before. We're going to pull that onto our hook, and then we're going to pull this cat band on as well. Okay, so now we have hair in the first row. Okay, now pull through one another, and then now we go back into the cap band, and we do that again. So we're wrapping a band around once, pulling that band under here, and with a swift move so it doesn't fall off, go in. So we're just going to do that six times. So one, two, three. This one, and then a sixth. So it'll look kind of funky right now, but it will fix, I promise. Okay, so now we've got some funky looking bands. So, what we want to do is we're just going to slightly tug on the second band that is making it look funky. This one, for example, needs some fixing. So just really quickly tug on some of those. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And now we're gonna grab our C-clip. Whoops. And put that to the bend on a hook. Now we're going to do Increase all and again add fur to all rounds So go to the first chain maybe a little bit difficult, but go to the first chain and We're gonna wrap our band around once and then pull our band around all four Again <laughs> failed that time Now pull through Okay, and we're gonna go back into that same chain to do another one and it's getting caught on my hook get out of here So we did one there, now we're doing another one. I'm gonna get a thinner band. I really hope I have enough for the body, because I'm gonna use white for the body to give me some extra bands. This is definitely a very heavy um, band count. It'll probably be quite a lot of bands. So just to let you know that. I'll mention that in the intro um, when this is finished. <laughs> this is another increase. So we're just doing increase in all stitches. As you can tell, I do have two different sizes and widths of bands. I don't really, I'm not a big fan of it, but what else can I do? Is that an increase? Yes. 
this. Next, another increase. So we're just doing this all the way around. And again, this is very time consuming. Should have 12 stitches, 12 stitches at the end of this. Be way easier with the same width of bands. <laughs> Definitely, um, but I've got thick and thin bands right now, which is not recommended. Two bands in here. And the last chain and increase. Here's where it gets a little strange. This will work for me. Be great. Okay. That was too many. Okay, take your C-clip and reclaim onto the balance on your hook. Now what we're doing is in the next two chains, we are increasing. Okay, so the first chain, we're doing an increase again. Don't forget to add your fur, very important. Back in the same chain. Okay, the next chain as well is a increase. Back in the same chain. Now is where it gets different. So now going to the next chain and we're just doing a single crochet. So wrap your band around once and then stay single. We can fix up the fur in a sec. I haven't fixed up the fur on my other ear yet. Gosh, this is not working for me. Struggle is real. Okay, just do a normal single crochet. Now we have something that looks like this. So try to stretch it out a little bit. Okay, and now we're gonna turn this so that it is pointing towards you. Then we have our band here and we have our hook here. Okay, we're gonna go this way and into that first loop, okay? And we are just doing a single crochet, so wrap your band around once, and then put a single in. Stay. Okay, now go to the next chain over, do the same thing. Wrap band around once. And now you should see another chain. There should be four. Gosh, this fur is getting in my way. And there should be one more chain. And this is what I mean by you can make your ears longer. You could go back and forth as many times as you'd like to create a longer ear. But I'm only going to be doing this because, again, I do not have any ring bands. And now we're going to go to the last stitch and just tie it off. Okay, so the stitch where the C-clip is, take a band, pull through all, and tighten. Okay, and that will legit blend in with the hair in a sec. Okay, so now we have our ears. They just look like a big ball thing of fur. Okay, so now to attach them, I'm just going to try to swirl this. There we go. Nope, swirl down. This is where we want this band to twist. There we go. Now we can just pick up the hairs 
make sure they're, you know, decent amount of hair. Um, my bands do not like to work very well, so I don't mind that. And you will have your hair this side on the bottom, so you want to make sure that that's upright. Now to attach this, what we're doing is we're expanding this out, and we have some stitches on the inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the inside stitches, inside stitches, like that. Okay, so they're not on the outside. And we're just going to pull a band through and do a slip knot. This is how we're going to attach it. <laughs> Legit just going to pull this through on the head and hopefully it'll stay there. Okay, so grab the head again. Now what we're going to do is, because we're adding the ears, we're going to I'll just do it with this hook. Take this, go into the next band over. I'm just going to take a black band so it's not confusing and because these aren't as slippery. This is just a tying off band. Okay, well this is a slippery as well. That's alright. Wow. It just undoes. Let's hope it doesn't undo. Okay, so now we've got our dog and we're now going to take the slip knot that we made earlier and there is a couple hairs that are not being my friend at the moment. Where did that come from? So if you have any hairs, just tuck them back in the outside region where it's meant to go. Okay. And now we grab this. First we go to the head, so where you want it placed, the middle of where you want it to place, so about there. You can keep playing with it. About there is the middle of it. Grab this, this. Um, make sure it's the way you want. Pull through to the back. And that is legit perfect. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> okay, so, and if you want this to be less puffed up, you can cut away some of the bands here, which I'm gonna do. I know that's kind of a waste, but we're just gonna cut a couple of the bands. I'm gonna grab a band of scissors. Okay, because these are just wrap bands, so you can cut them to your liking. Or just a couple so it doesn't be as up here. Okay, so there's a little gap there. And now we're going to take this and it won't be as... Yeah, yeah, I like that better. So now we can go in the middle here and grab this it in and then shape the ear how you how you would like go to the inside and you can grab that stitch oh god it's coming out okay grab that stitch or loop if you want to call it that wow my nails are long <laughs> okay go into a stitch on the inside of the body grab a band I'm just gonna get rid of these cut bands because they're no good and Put the loop on your hook, grab a band, and just pull through all and slip it on. You can tie this off however you like, but that's just an easy way to tie it off. And now you have an ear. Again, it will pull out, so be careful with that. So don't pull out the ear if you can. Um, so if you don't want that to happen, which I'm going to fix right now, you just grab the loop that you tied up before. Pull it so that it's back in the head, and then we can go to a stitch that's further away and tie that off. There we go. Okay, so that's the ear, and I'm going to do that on the other side. It looks very furry at the moment, but it will hopefully come in the end, and then we have our legs in the front. I hope it turns out cute. It's a little fluffy at the moment. But I'll quickly do the exact same thing I just did there on the other side, and I'll be right back. All right, so I finished attaching the other ear, and now we're going to get on to finishing up the head. All right, so we're going to close up the head and stuff it, but first we're going to stuff while we have it tied off. Luckily, it didn't come undone. Um, I feel like it's a little too fluffy, but I can get over that. <laughs> okay. So it looks a little strange with the different color change of bands, but 
that's okay. I really don't mind. So I'm just going to grab my fab fill and put a little bit in there just to fill up the head. Okay, pop out the eyes a bit. It's a cutie. I'm going to take this apart, not apart, but off. Uh, make sure you're up to your stuffing liking. And now we're just going to finish this up. Now, because I'm running out of bands, and you're not going to really see the back of it in pictures and stuff, I'm just going to finish it up without um, doing fluffy bands. Okay, you more than likely should if you have enough bands. Um, and again, you should probably do the whole entire body with um fluffy bands um, to make it look really cute but I do not have enough bands and I would do it in a different color but then that wouldn't be very good for the thumbnail and you know anyways so now we're gonna uh, finish this off so to finish this off we are doing single crochet increase so I mean decrease not increase definitely not increase so single crochet and then front stitch and back stitch single crochet front stitch and back stitch single crochet front stitch back stitch Single crochet, Ooh. front stitch, back stitch, single crochet, Ooh. front stitch, and the back stitch. Put one camera and single crochet. Um, my rows don't add up, which I'm not sure why, but I'm just doing two single crochets at the end. Just do whatever you have left. So if you have enough to do a decrease, do that. Now mine will look strange in the back. I realize that, but I just I need the bands. And now we're just decreasing all. Stitch back stitch. So we're decreasing all now. This is the next row, decreasing all. Front stitch back stitch. Front stitch and the back. Oh, and the back stitch. Front stitch and the back stitch. Front stitch and the back stitch. And we can finish up in the front stitch and back stitch. Okay, like that. Now we can take this C clip off. Again, I realize it does look weird, um, but I don't really want to do hair in the back because I again don't have enough bands. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through this loop and this loop and then tie it all off. Done. Now I can go into the head and just take that slip knot that I did and pull it in. Okay, it looks like I did a little shave behind here, but that's all right. I'm just gonna leave that S or that thing out. So now we have this adorable head um, and my band color change. I realize it sucks, <laughs> but 
but um, that is the head and then we have the legs again I would probably put fur with them and now we're going to do the body so that's the last part of this and then we'll be done so I'm not doing any um, fluff in this but if I were you I would definitely do fluff so now we're gonna cut off some bands now um, just to add a row about that one I realize this is a waste of bands but I didn't really have a pattern to not do them so I'm just gonna cut where needed Okay, just for the body portion of this, you won't be needing fluff bands. So we can just cut wherever you need. Um, and I'm sorry about the waste of bands, there's not much I can do. Because you don't really want to have fluff bands underneath your body. That is a, what is that? Just trying to cut it. Yeah, that's fine, okay. So that should do for the head portion, actually, just two more on the side here. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is, so now we've just kind of de-shedded, de-shedded, de-shed under here, and we need to get 12 single crochets around the body. So, we're now moving on to the body, to head, so I'll just quickly change the pattern. I changed the thing here, and now, and I've cleaned up a bit. So, what we're doing now is we're just doing, we need 12 stitches around the head. So that's one. If there's a bit of fur in your way, it's fine. Two. three so three across here and now if that is in your way just chop chop now we're doing a couple across here one so this is now four five six Now turning the corner slightly. Just make sure that you are on the actual bottom of the head. <laughs> okay, um, and now we're doing across here. So that is now one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and we go here. Seven, eight, And you should finish up on 11. So now we have our main body. So you should have on 11. And we're going to use this stitch here from our slip stitch at the start. So we're going to take our um, C clip. And now we're going to start our rows. So we're going to do just a row of single crochet at the start. Um, so row 1 to 2, single crochet all. So now... So that was the first, so the first row was different, we'll show how. I just showed how to do the first row, now this is the second row of single crochet. So we're going to go into the first chain and we're just going to do a single crochet. Again, if you're doing fur, you would have added fur to this row, not the last single crochet round. You can if you want, but 
Could be a little bit too fairy there. So do a single crochet rounds. Um, and then we're doing single crochet increase is the next row. So we're getting into the body. Sorry, that band is ripped to the side of my table. And then we're up to the last chain. Now we're going to do single crochet increase. Okay. Now we are doing, um, so as I said, single crochet increase. So we're doing single crochet in the first row and then increase in the next chain. Single crochet, now we're doing an increase. Make sure you don't get fur with your stitches. Okay, now doing a single. Increase. You can see the different textures in the bands, and it's very annoying. So that was a increase or single crochet and now we're doing another increase. Increase. And a single. Okay. So now you can kind of expand it out a bit. Okay. And that is going to be your body. I really hope this turns out cute. And this is where uh, I'm just going to do one more round of whatever it is. And then I'll start using my white bands to, um, yeah. Okay. So now we're doing single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, increase. So four single crochets and then an increase. So one. Two. Three. No, what am I doing? Oh. Wait. One, two, three, four. So I just need to undo two of these. Sorry about that. Two, three, four. 
I wasn't concentrating. So we have one, two, three, and this is the fourth one. And now we're doing an increase. So now we're doing God damn it. One. And then seal and crochet three. So one. Now we are going to start, I'm going to start using my white bands. So I have my white bands right here as well. And now we're doing um, six rounds of single crochet. Now I'm going to show you one round because this is where I'm adding the white. So if you want to do a belly of white, you will know how to do this. So we're going to go on the first one and this is the back of the body. So we're going to count stitches. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on the tenth stitch, we are doing um, a white. Actually, do another brown, and then we're doing a white. So now we some up there. So I'm just gonna grab a white. So and we're gonna do a slip stitch. Okay, don't pull tight. And now single crochet to the rest and just wait for the last stitch. Actually, I did that way too early. This is what happens when you don't organize. So, doing a couple more brown. <laughs> One more. So you want to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 stitches. And then now on the 15th, we are doing a slip stitch. And then another one. I'm just doing this. And then we are going to stop here. And we're going to leave two stitches at three stitches at the end. Yeah. Um, and make sure when you do this, you do a slip stitch because we're changing color again. And you would continuously do it on those stitches. Um, yeah, just that, that'll be my belly and I'll continuously get it like slightly bigger, but yeah. So that'll be my belly. 
um, and I will be right back with you once I have completed my six rounds of single crochet. Um, so we just did one round, so now we need to do five more rounds. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right back with you after I've done that. So I have now completed my six rounds of single crochet, and I added on a leg. As you can see, the stomach did not turn out, but that's okay. It'll be covered by the legs. Um, so now I'm going to add the legs, and I'm going to show you how to add these legs. So these are just the smaller legs if you did the smaller ones. Um, as you can see, the belly is like completely shifted to the side, but uh, that's all right. <laughs> I don't really want to redo it. But you should do have done six rows right now. Um, and now we're going to attach the leg. So right above here, I'm going to attach the leg. So I'm going to take the first one. And pull through. Okay. And then we're going to do that, basically. So now go to the next couple stitches over. It's really hard to do on camera. Um, next couple stitches over. Grab the next stitch. Pull in. Probably off camera. Keep them on your hook. Go into the next area, which is for me. Just trying to figure this out. So we're just pulling through to the back. Um, you can put these on your finger like this so it's easier and now you got to figure out where to right there and just make sure it's in a straight line attach back onto your finger this is in the back um, and I'm guessing that is where I'm putting the next one yep and then we have four bands on a hook grab your pile grab a band and pull through all Okay, now that we have them tied, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into those loops and we're going to find somewhere lower down here, about them. You can also tie them off, but I just am not in the mood to tie off right now. Um, so I'm going to just do it this way and it works just as fine. And just tie that there, so then that they look like that. Very cute. Um, this one looks further down, but that's just, I don't know why that looks further down. Damn it. <laughs> why? Okay, make sure you don't pull them because then they'll come out. Just pull that back in. And don't pull it again. Now we're going to do um, decreasing rounds. Yeah, it looks cute. Okay. So we're not going to use any um, white bands now. I'm now just going to decrease until I can't decrease anymore. Okay. But we're going to add stuffing in one row. So, and as you can see, I'm really running out of bands. So I really hope I make it. Um, but we're going to start off with a single crochet decrease. Front stitch and back stitch. Single crochet, front stitch and the back stitch, which is a decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease. Single crochet, another decrease, single crochet, decrease, I skipped that um, other one because it was a slip stitch, and then we're going to finish it in a single. I don't know if that's what you finish off in, I'm a bit off my rows right now. Saying on this, I'll get copyrighted. Okay, so those are the legs, um, and 
that's what they're gonna look like. So it's gonna have a little slither of the belly in it. Hopefully that's it. You can see a little bit on the side, but I don't really mind, honestly. Okay, now we're gonna continue. So just another. So now we're just doing a decreasing round. As it says there, decrease all. Just decreasing all. I really hope this turns out in the end because otherwise I'm not going to post this. Because <laughs> it's a bit confusing, I can say that. There's probably going to be quite a few comments saying this is confusing. I forgot to stuff. God damn it. Okay, just stuff now. My mind was other places. I'm thinking about how this will turn out. God damn it, stop it. Um, so make sure it's filled to your liking. I want mine pretty stuffed. I'm just gonna lift it up so it stops banging on the table. Sorry, I completely forgot to stuff. Okay, now we can continue. Because I've been recording all day and I'm just, you know, kind of out of it at the moment. We can finish this with a single crochet. Again, my stitches are off. Okay, and now we're gonna take this loop, but because it's a bit stretched out, I'm gonna take the loop from before, this loop, and not take the fiber fill with it. This, this, and this, and then we just take a band through all. Tighten nice and tightly. And that is our booty. Okay. That's that. Now we can just tuck this into the body. I'm sorry the stomach turned out so bad. <laughs> I tried to experiment, but it didn't work. But it's basically covered and just looks like a stomach now. So that is that. Now we're going to move on to adding the other legs. I hope this turns out cute. I really hope. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm happy now. It turned out cute. It's turning out adorable. Yay! Oh my god, it's adorable! <laughs> okay, let me just shut up, Ashley. Okay, so now we have plenty of bands left over, which I am very glad about. Um, and this is the body. My body looks really small for some reason, but it'll still work. So now we're going to grab our behind legs, see where you want them. About there. So I'm going to place that on the side. And now we're going to take the bands. So these bands. Goodness gracious. There. And we're going to take the bands one at a time. Through. Okay. And we're basically sewing these on. Grab the next stitch. Pull through. stitch and last one make sure you pull them nice and tight okay this looks strange at the moment but it will fix okay um, and now we go into a random stitch here grab a band Pull through all and then reclaim and then some knot that off so we can tie that in later. Now grab this foot and here. So we're gonna grab like a stitch here 
and then wherever it matches up. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna take a band, pull through one, pull through the other, reclaim, and then stitch together. Now it looks slightly strange at the moment, but now to keep that from going anywhere, I'm now pushing this up and then looking at the back stitch here. That one. And we're pulling this, pushing this up while we do it. And then we're gonna grab whatever stitch is there, grab another band, pull through each of them. That should push it up. Okay. So that looks way more sturdy now. You can also do that to this foot as well, but I'm not going to, it doesn't really need it. I'm gonna go into the body and pull this in. I'm kind of upset with how this came out, honestly. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see what you guys want and if you want me to actually post a tutorial for it, because this is definitely confusing. I might have to do a remake of the tutorial. If not, if this is up right now, I guess I just wasn't in it and decided just to post. <laughs> Uh, which, it is not that bad of a tutorial, I mean, I think, I'm not sure. Okay, and now we're going to do the same thing we just did on the other side, and I'll do that off camera so it's not a waste of time. Okay. Right, so I've done the same to the other side, and that is the adorable puppy. Um, we're also doing a tail, of course, I have not figured out that yet, <laughs> but I have actually kind of like the turnout, so I'm glad that we did um, not do the fur all around. I just like it on the face. I think it looks better. Now it looks dodgy in the back. I realize that. It's just my band type. It keeps different bands. Means gaps. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to do a tail. Um, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do for the tail, but I will figure that out. <laughs> I'll do that now. I'll just do a little plan. I'll be right back. All right. So, um, I'm just going to try and figure out how to do the tail. <laughs> I have a little plan in my head. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the front part here, so it's a middle chain, take a band, and we're going to do a single crochet. We're going to do it like we did for the unicorns. Um, but I have a little plan. I might have to record this a couple times. And then we're going to slip knot at the end. Okay, make sure it's a really tight slip knot that will not come undone. Take your scissors and cut. Okay, we're gonna do um, another one here. So we're gonna do one, find the bottom area. So about here, so just map it out. It's gonna have a really fluffy, cute tail. So pull this through, pull this through. Um, and I'm sorry that it was such a um, unorganized video and that it was quite hard to see what I was doing or um, trying to explain things. It was quite a difficult design and I had trouble filming it. So I hope this is still okay. Um, I'm probably not going to make another another one. It's just, it just took me all day to make. And I had a pattern, so my own pattern which I designed. Okay, so now we have one here and here. Now we're going to do one on the sides as well. So you have side ones. Oops, want to go there? I'm trying to be as least amount of bands as I can, so then I don't run out of bands. Oh, that broke. That's alright. I'll just double chain another one. Come on. Come on, done, man. Come on, in. Thank you. Bands do snap. It sucks, yes, but. Oh, God, it broke again. Dude. Okay, don't snap. 
Okay. So now we have something that looks like this. And now we're going to do it on this side as well. Take a band through. God. So we're just going to have four, and then we're going to do one in the middle as well. One, two, three, four, and then I tie it off. I don't know, I think I did the other ones five and then tie it off. Eight. Okay. Now that we have one here, sorry, two here, two here, I'm now going to take the middle stitch, and I'm going to do a chain of six. Um, and then tie off at the sixth one. Alright. So now we have some rules like that. Now what I'm going to do is gather them all together. It's different to the unicorn. I'm going to grab a band. Tie it around. As many times as it will go. Alright. Now I want this to be like a little poof, because these dog type of dog don't really have like long tails. So you can just play with it a bit. And that's just going to be the tail that I'm going to do. Okay. Um, and if you want to add more rows to it to make it more fluffy, you can do that. But with that being done ignore the different color changes in it but that being done with the tail we are now complete and I will now do an outro all right so thank you so much for watching I hope this wasn't too confusing and if it was confusing um try to keep the hate comments to yourself um I realize that I have mentioned that it is can be confusing and I am sorry but I will try harder in the future um I was just a little bit all over the place today and um yeah, so I hope you liked this today's tutorial. Um, if you would like to see more, click the subscribe button. If you like this um, and you're making it or you want to make it, click the subscribe, not subscribe, sorry, the um, like button on this video. Um, and if you make this design of mine, um, make sure to tag me on Instagram at create underscore ivity is key. I'll leave it in the bottom corner right here and in the description. Um, and that'll be all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.